we're going to identify points that satisfy linear equations. So to do that, we're going to identify which linear equations contain the given points. So if we start out with this first one where it's 4 comma 4, that means that your x value is 4 and your y value is y because x always comes first and then y comes second in a coordinate pair. So all you have to do is plug those x and y values into your equation for x and y and see if the two sides are equal and that will mean that the, the point satisfies that equation. If the two sides are not equal, then that point won't satisfy it, meaning this point will not be on the line if we graph the equation. If the two sides are equal, this point will be included as a point on the line when we graph it. So let's start. I'm going to plug 4 in for y. So 4 equals 2 times our x value is 4 plus 4. So now I have to simplify. I have 4 is equal to 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So because the two sides are not equal, I know that this point is not a point on this line. So in other words, it does not satisfy the linear equation. So then I'm going to plug it into this one. y is 4 equals negative 2 times 4 plus 4. Let's bring down 4 equals negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. Again, the two sides are not equal. 4 is not equal to negative 4. We'll try letter C. y is 4 equals 2 times 4 minus 4. So we have 4 equals 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. Because the two sides are equal, this one does work. I'm going to, just going to try it in all just in case there's more than one. So plug 4 in for y equals negative 2 times 4 minus 4. So we have 4 equals negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. Two sides are not equal, so C is the only one that works. Same exact thing over here. This time, plug in 3 for x and 4 for y and see which one the two sides are equal on. So if we plug in 3 for x, 4 for y, y is 4 equals, we have a negative, x is 3 plus 7. So this gives me 4 equals negative 3 plus 7 is 4. The two sides are equal, so that one works. Just going to try it down here. We have 4 equals 3 plus 7. Well, 4 does not equal 10. So that one doesn't work. Try it down here. Y is 4 equals 2 times our x value is 3 minus 3. We have 4 equals 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. The two sides are not equal. 4 does not equal 3. Last one. The y value is 4 equals 3 times 3 minus 4. So we have 4 equals 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. 4 does not equal 5. So A is the only one that works. And it's good to go through and plug it into all of them because I could have made a simple mathematical error and said, oh, the two sides are equal when they really weren't. So just going through and double checking yourself is a good idea. All right, so this one's a little different. We have to see which of the four points work, satisfy this equation. So that means which of these points would be on this line if we graphed it. Same thing, you're just going to plug the x value in for x, the y value in for y, but into this equation. So we have y is 6 equals 5 times our x value is 0 minus 6. So we have 6 equals 5 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 6 is negative 6. The two sides are not equal, so that one didn't work. All right, so I'm going to plug in 1 for x, negative 1 for y. So y is negative 1 equals 5 times our x value, which is 1, minus 6. We have negative 1 equals 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 minus 6 is negative 1. The two sides are equal, so I know that one works. And I'm just going to keep going through all of them, double check. We have x and y. So we have y, which is 1, equals 5 times our x value, which is 2, minus 6. 
one equals five times two is 10 and 10 minus six is four, so the two sides are not equal. And the last one, plug in three for x, two for y. We have y, which is two, equals five times our x value, which is three, minus six. Two equals five times three is 15, and 15 minus six is nine. So the two sides are not equal. So b is the only one that worked. All right, last one. This one's different because you have to identify which equation satisfies both points, meaning which of these equations has both of the points on the line. So one of the points might work for some of them, but you need to know which equation both of the points work for. So you're going to have to plug them both in. So we have x and y, x and y. So we're just, I'm just going to start by plugging the first point in. So the y is negative 5 equals x is 0 plus 3. Negative 5 does not equal 3. So I already know that this first point does not work for letter A, so I'm not going to go any further right now. Because if one point doesn't work, the other point's not going to. All right, so letter B. I'm going to plug in negative 5 equals, we have negative, the x value is 0 minus 5. Negative 0 is just 0. There's not a negative 0, but I had to bring that negative down and then plug in my x value. So we have negative 5 equals 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Well, the two sides are equal, so that one did work. So I'm going to plug my second point in for x and y on this one. That means x is 2, y is negative 1. So y is negative 1 equals negative the x value is 2. I had to leave that negative there, and then I plugged in the x value, which was positive 2, which means the result would be negative 2. Minus 5, negative 1 equals negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. That one did not work because both points didn't work. I know that this is not the equation <clears throat> that both points lie on. Or if we graph that line, the two points would not be on it, only one of them. All right, so this one, we're going to plug in negative 5 for y equals 2 times our x value is 0 minus 2. Negative 5 equals 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 2 is negative 2, so that one didn't work. So I'm going to just move on to the next one, letter D. Hopefully both points work. Plug in negative 5 for y equals 2 times our x value is 0 minus 5. We have negative 5 equals 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So the two, two sides are equal. So the first point did work. Let's plug in that second point. So y is negative 1 equals 2 times x is 2 minus 5. Negative 1 equals 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 5 is negative 1 because it worked for both points. This is our equation. y equals 2x minus 5. Both of these points lie on this line if we graph it. So they would be part of the graph. They would be points on that graph. That's what it means to, for the points to satisfy the linear equation. All right, so I'm going to have you go ahead and try the same thing. So there is the exact same types of problems you just did. See if you can figure out the answers, and then we'll go through them together. All right, so this first one, plug 2 in for x, 1 in for y. So you have 1 equals 2 times, sorry, 3 times 2 minus 4. We have 1 equals 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2, so those don't equal. All right, check the next one. 1 equals 2 times 2 plus 1. 1 equals 4 plus 1 is 5. That one didn't work. Plug in 1 for y equals negative x is 2 minus 3. 1 equals negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5 because the two sides aren't equal. That one didn't work. All right, y is 1 equals negative 2 times x is 2 plus 5. 1 equals negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 5 is positive 1. So letter D works. 
second one. Okay, we're going to plug in each point. So we have 5 equals 4 times negative 3 minus 7. 5 equals negative 12 minus 7 is negative 19. That one didn't work. Plug in x and y. We have negative 3 equals 4 times negative 1 minus 7. Simplify this right side. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 7 is negative 11. That one doesn't work. Plug in x and y. We have 7 equals 4 times 0 minus 7. This one gives us 7 equals 4 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 7 is negative 7, so that one didn't work. If you didn't keep going, you there was a chance that you forgot that negative and you would get 7 equals 7, which if you drop the negative, um, that would be a common mistake that people would make. All right, so we have x and y. y is negative 3 equals 4 times x is 1 minus 7. Negative 3 equals 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So letter D did work. Try one more. All right, so we have to see which one both of the points work for. Y is negative 5 equals negative, our x value is 0, plus 5. This gives us negative 5 equals 5, which is not true. So I'm not going to try the next point. Okay, We have negative 5 equals 0 plus 5. So negative 5 equals 5. That one does not work. All right, this one. We have negative 5 equals negative 0 minus 5. Negative 5 equals negative 5. That one did work. We plugged in x and y, so let's try the second point. y is negative 4 equals negative. Our x value is negative 1 minus 5. Don't forget, you have to bring that negative over and then plug in the x value. So we do have a negative times a negative, which gives us a positive. So we have negative 4 equals negative 1. Negative times negative 1 is positive 1. And 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So that one does work. Letter C is our answer. And if you wanted to try them all, if you tried letter D, you would get negative 5 equals 0 minus 5, which is true. And if you plugged in your second point, you got negative 4 equals negative 1 minus 5, minus 5, which negative 4 does not equal negative 6. All right, hopefully you were able to identify the linear equations that contain the given points.